Hey, is that Timmy's? Yeah, because we're in Canada. Hey guys, Zach here from Toots and Tires. Uh, I thought we'd do a little update. This is really bright outside here. Holy Toledo. But uh, I thought we'd do a little shop update. What's happening in the shop? What I've been up to? Uh, what's coming up possibly? So let's let's get to her. Lacey, what's happening? Uh, 56 stuff. Uh, I just actually, if you just, if you follow me on social media, which you should, like why aren't you already? Uh, on Facebook or Instagram, uh, you would have seen that we just picked up an aluminum 6.2 for this thing. We pulled it out of the junkyard, so that was cool. And uh, I actually just got a transmission, so we'll possibly end up doing a video of trying to get that motor and transmission into the car. So that's pretty wicked. Actually gonna be doing a video on uh, turning a four-wheel drive 4L80 into a two-wheel drive. So we're gonna see how that goes. That's pretty cool. Not the conventional way that everybody else does it, but uh, we're doing it the cheap way because, you know, it's the only way to do things in life is cheap. Um, Lacey, what are you looking at? So that's it for the 56. Um, not sure if the video already came out for that or it's coming out next week or it probably already came out on mom's car of like kind of how we got the LS in there and what you have to do to, you know, fit an LS into a freaking C3 Corvette, get your mullet out, something like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Blazer stuff. Uh, actually been doing some body work on that thing. I'm super sorry for everybody that's hanging around for Blazer content. I hate body work. Um, so I've just been procrastinating myself and you know, looking around <laughs> looking around for other things to do so i don't have to do that but i do want to drive that this winter and turn my daily driver into a drag truck so we kind of got to get that thing going so hopefully there's going to be a video coming out here soon on that possibly going to be some videos on a camper project uh that might happen so if you're local to the area and you know about Heimer campers that went out of business, uh, they had cool vintage fiberglass shells. I bought one, you know, COVID project, and I didn't finish it like everything else because there was body work involved. <laughs> but uh, we actually, I'm going to be going on vacation for my regular day job. So we might be jumping onto that thing, possibly painting it, framing some walls inside, getting it closer so that I can actually use it so we can go to the track and do cool stuff, stay the weekend. So that would be cool. And uh, possibly the panel truck, that might be coming up shortly where we're gonna dissect the old farm truck I bought and get that frame ready so that we can drop that body onto it. So there's a bunch of content coming up. Uh, bear with me guys here. You know, I just had to get my pearly whites fixed. So, you know, that's why the video didn't come out this one last past week, but uh, yeah, so uh, I think that's everything that's going on in the shop. Uh, oh, another cool thing might happen. Uh, I don't know, I don't wanna give too much detail away. New upcoming YouTuber wants to be a YouTuber and he wants to mooch off of me. You know who you are, you're watching. <laughs> but uh, he might be bringing his car here and we might be LS swapping it. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled for that. It's gonna be a really cool thing, there's actually I don't know when this video is going to come up, but there's a race in like three weeks and uh, you know, we might be LS swapping the car so we can get it ready for the race. So that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully that happens, but uh, bear with me here. Really appreciate all you guys subscribing and liking on all the stuff and commenting all the stuff. You know, that's super cool. Love talking to you guys. Uh, like getting feedback on things too. So, you know, do that if I'm doing a good job. We're friends here, you know, you can you can be harsh with me. <laughs> but uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing and we'll catch you guys next time. And as always, don't forget to salute the beaver.